What is going on, my lovely collective? And thank you guys so much for tuning in. All right, my loves. So, guys, I am getting back into my groove now that I am back from vacation. All right, guys. So definitely look out for your readings. If you guys ordered one before my vacation, I will finish all those today. All right. And I'm looking forward to it. Guys, I have some discounts on my website right now. I'm going to try to do like a special for you guys once a month. I have a friend that I'm really trying to surprise this summer. So I'm trying to save up as much money as possible. Like it doesn't even feel like a possibility, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. All right, guys. So yes, all reading income will be going towards that if not rent. Okay. All right, my loves. So guys, this is a reading for the collective. This is for all the signs. It doesn't matter what sign you are. All right. So if the title calls to you, then this is a reading for you. This is also a timeless reading, guys. Whenever you find this reading is when it was meant for you. All right. But it is Tuesday, April 9th, 2024, as I'm recording this. Yesterday was the eclipse. I hope that you guys had a chance to experience that, at least on TV. Um, but yeah, it was just a very powerful day. My spirit told me not to work. My spirit's like, yo, just like, just be today. Like, just be. Get back to it tomorrow. But yeah. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Past, present, and future. What is going on with my collective? What is going on? Now, I don't know if I said this, guys, but keep in mind, it could be your energy that I'm picking up on or the energy of someone or something around you. And just a disclaimer that I will never contact you for reading. If someone does, it is a scammer pretending to be me. So please be careful, collective, and do not get got. All right, my loves. So, guys, the first card we have for the past here is the Knight of Swords. This could be Libra, Aquarius, Gemini uh, energy around you. You could be one. There could be one around you. Okay. We have the Four of Swords reversed. Let's get one more card and then we'll talk about what these cards mean. Okay. We have the Nine of Swords reversed. All right. So, guys, you just, you saw past something. Like, there's something that you guys are like, I'm just focused and I'm not going to worry about this. Like, I can't explain it. Like, if you had, if you had like some sort of deadline or if you had some sort of change you wanted to make into your life, like, I think you focused on that change. And I don't think that you guys were acting from a place of fear. I feel like you guys are just focusing on getting something done and knowing what it is that you have to get done. And you just want to manifest so much and you are manifesting a lot because there's things that you went through in the past and it's done. And I feel like there's just, there's a storyline that you guys are done with. All right. There's something that you don't want it to be your narrative. I'm hearing some of you saying, I don't want to play victim no more. Not that you were even playing victim, but it's just like, you don't want people to come up to you and be like, oh my God, collective, are you Okay. Like, you want people to be like, bitch, you did that shit. You know, like, I feel like a lot of you are hitting a point where you're not going to dare and feel bad for yourself. You're going to get up and you're going to get something done. You feel me? All right. So let's talk about it. So we have the Knight of Swords energy here. Let's see why this is here. But again, I see you guys just focused. The Knight of Swords, this is a head over heart energy. All right. So why is this Knight of Swords here? We have the Ten of Swords. A betrayal made you focus. A harsh or sudden change, maybe it was both, made you focus. Something said, hey, collective, wake the fuck up. And you did. All right, there was some sort of lighter under you, and God said... All right, like you guys, something woke you up and it could have felt like a smack in the face to some of you, but it's just something that made you realize, all right, shit needs to change. Like this can't be the same, like something has got to give, all right, because it's like, 
for some of you, you want this beautiful life or this beautiful new beginning. You like, you want to live a life of, you know, emotional and spiritual fulfillment. You want that. Okay. But maybe because of people around you, or maybe because of your lack of discipline. Okay. Or, or your lack of like tapping in as much as you can, you weren't getting what you really wanted. Okay. Like, you know what you wanted, you know, the stability that you wanted, but there could have been people, places, or things around you that were a distraction or pulling you away. For some of you, let's be honest, all right? For some of you, maybe you just weren't showing up for yourself the way you should have, all right? I know a lot of people, myself included, that had we not taken a day off, had we stayed disciplined, we would have had everything we wanted in life already. You know what I'm saying? The only reason I personally don't have what I want in life is lack of discipline. That's it. I have every single tool. If I sat down every day for a year, I, I wouldn't know what to do with my money. I'd be like, guys, I spent $35 million today and I still have so much left. What am I going to do with my money? You know, so for a lot of you, it could have been something like that. It could have been um, lack of self-worth, lack of self-discipline. All right. But like, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but there's there's just some sort of click here. There's some sort of aha. All right, so tell me more. Give me one more card for this Knight of Swords after the Ten of Swords. The Seven of Swords. Okay. There's something that, again, I feel like it made you wake up and focus. But I don't think that this is something that you share with the world. It could have been like a little moment between you and God or like some sort of coincidence that you're like, oh, my God. Like, I'm not going to tell people about this, but, you know, this is this could be what was waking you up. And you guys, you take on the role of like, I can do this. I can get this done. And I don't need anybody but myself to get this done. All right. Not saying that you guys were alone, but there's something here that you had to do and you had to do it for yourself. All right, the nine of pentacles is someone who is extremely self-sufficient. All right, and you guys know what it's going to take for you to truly be at peace. For some of you, there could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio around this. Okay, now we have the four of swords reversed. Okay, so that's like taking the blindfold off, waking up. Let's see why this is here. Why is this four of swords reversed here? The chariot reversed. Something that was so out of your control woke you up. All right. For some of you, this could have had to do with um, some sort of move. But it could have been something that, like, was supposed to happen but didn't. Like, something that didn't work. We have the three of wands reversed. There's something that it, it was out of your control. And it made you wake up. And there's something that you stopped building on once you woke up. We have the star card reversed. The moon card reversed. Like... I feel like you guys were getting to the point where like you were losing faith in something. All right. And then like spirit just shook the shit out of you. And spirit's like, why are you losing faith in this when you have every capability of doing this? Like I almost like, I don't know why I feel emotional reading this because I know it's going to be so different for a lot of you, but like, I feel like a lot of you like almost threw the towel in and I'm talking about like, like there could be some of you that like you have a business or something that's like on the brink of like, like you're going to be the one in your family that makes it like you're going to be the one that's like, yo, so my car for you, house for you, car for you. Now everybody shut the fuck up and leave me alone. Like I see y'all like I, it's just, it feels so strong. And whatever this is, guys, like, you almost let it go. Like, you almost said, like, okay, God, I get it. It's not for me. All right, I'll figure something else out. And Spirit's like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, wh when did I say this wasn't for you? 
when did I say you weren't still the chosen person for this? Okay. And it's like, you guys, like something woke you up and you're excited and you're happy about something again. Oh my God. Like, this is just like energy that's like really, really, really waking you up. Guys, it's crazy. And if you already heard this story, I, I did tell it in one of my readings in the last week, so I apologize. But guys, I went to Dominican Republic, all right, um, last, not last week, the week before. And my parents, like guys, the, the home that we have there, I'll put the Airbnb link. You guys can stay in my home if you'd like. But um, I was just in awe because the last time I went there, my parents have done so much work on the house. And guys, it, it just feels like you're at a tropical resort, but it's private. Like no one can see what you do. You have your own private pool, jacuzzi, basketball court. The house is fucking huge. Like come bring 20 of your peoples to my house. Have fun. All right. Y'all want somebody to cook and clean for you? It's there. Like it, I just, I went there and I'm, I had a hard time believing that this is even something that's in my family. Cause it's just, it's, it's, it's I'm just proud of it. And I don't know why, but like my, I, I just, I always said to myself, like, enjoy this while you can. Your parents are getting older. Enjoy it while you can. Enjoy it while you can. And it's just, even though it's, you know, belongs to the family, it's just never felt real to me. And so my mom overheard me having a conversation with someone. And I'm like, you know, I'm going to try to help my parents more, like give them money to build this or do that. Um, because I feel like when they can't handle this property anymore, like it's going to go to an uncle of mine or something. And then I'm never going to have access to it again. Like, I don't know why it was just like in my head that like, this isn't yours, that there's, there's, you know, uh, there's the time ticking on this. Like it just, it did not feel real. You know what my mom did to me guys? Cause she overheard that conversation when most people went to sleep, she brings me and she faces me towards the backyard. So now we're looking at this, like, outdoor like now area we have but it's like a it's like this shit you can get married in it's like just it's it's beautiful so we're looking at the pool and we're looking at everything and she's like Lisette and I'm like what and she shakes the shit on me she goes Lisette this is yours and I'm like mm. she's like no 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 you don't understand me this is yours and I'm like yeah she's like Lisette why don't you feel like this shit is yours She's like, everything I've been doing is for you guys. You know, it's to set y'all up. Like, y'all really think I'm going to toss this to an uncle or aunt? She's like, why the fuck would I do this? She was like, this is yours. Like, bitch, get into that owner mentality. It's yours. And, and it hit me. I'm like, oh, shit. I just, I don't know. Like, I'm, I, so much has been happening in life that when good things happen, I'm just like, I don't know. Like, I just, I always expect for there to be a struggle. And for a lot of you, you could be feeling that like things have been going wrong for so long and so many things have been popping up that it's like, we don't trust it if something bad isn't happening. You know what I'm saying? And, and that really woke me up and it, it made me very emotional. Cause I'm like, Oh shit, mom, you love me. All right. So I'm, I'm not going to have to, you know, watch an uncle take this over and never have access to it again and feel like I'm a stranger in my own home. And I'm, I'm so happy she comforted me in that way. And I needed that. She was like, yo, you're giving employee energy and you're the owner. She was like, so get up to par. Like, you fucking own this shit. And I'm like, all right. But that's what it is, guys. That's what it is for you. There's something that it's just like, it, it's you. And I'm not, I'm not even talking about like properties, houses and shit. Guys, like, no, I'm talking about like your calling. I'm talking about your business. Like, I'm talking about something that God has handed straight to you. And you were about to be like, fuck it. Because again, bad thing after bad thing after bad thing, you know, we, we kind of get used to it. And just look at the world. Look at the news. You know what I'm saying? Watching the news right now, it's a crazy ordeal. Okay, shit is wild out there. Hey. <sighs> but yeah, guys, you guys, you have to check that whole place out. If you ever have the privilege of traveling to my country, DR. All right. So guys, for the nine of swords reversed, right? We have the three of pentacles reversed. You get to the point where you're not worried about something not working for you. Okay. So guys, maybe, 
Maybe you've been stagnant for a while. Maybe let's say you work in sales and sales have been shit for the last four or five months, whatever. All right. There's something that you just, you really thought like it just wasn't going to happen for you and it's happening for you. All right. Let's get one more card here. We have the five of pentacles reversed. Okay. Guys. I don't know what sort of magical powers was in that eclipse yesterday, but this is spirit telling you guys, wherever you've been lacking in life right now, that's what spirit is fixing for you. Okay. There's something, there was a very weak area of your life. It could have been finances. It could have been your love life. It could have been your social circle or lack thereof. Okay. Um, but there's something that you felt you were lacking in and spirit's about to turn this all the way around for you. Spirit's like, no, you weren't lacking. You was just distracted. You just got in your head too much. Like, wake the fuck up and remember who's that bitch. That's you, right? Male or female, I don't give a fuck. All right, like, it's you, you know? Like, so have faith in something. And I just see everything changing so drastically. It's like everything is realigning to make you wake up because before you were giving employee energy when you should have been giving owner energy, guys. All right. Y'all was walking around like God didn't fucking handpick you for something. Y'all walked around like it was really just going to pass over you, like your blessing was really going to pass over you. Y'all was walking around like you was really going to keep struggling for the rest of your life. You guys, some of you were walking around like you're really going to be alone for the rest of your life. Some of you were walking around like, yo, these shitty ass, toxic ass people are the most I'm going to get in my life. Someone in here almost threw in the towel. Almost gave up. Not realizing everything has been working in your favor. And for those of you, especially my fixed placements that you don't like drastic changes, there's one coming and it's one that's needed because it's one that provides you with long-term stability. What the emperor reversed, that could be a card about like someone wearing a mask. But in this case, it's like you were putting on you know, a joker uniform when you should have been putting on one of the crowns and sitting on the throne. Like you, you guys, like, I don't, I don't know what got your mindset so like misconstrued, but like a lot of you woke the fuck up. A lot of you are waking up. All right. So present moment, let's see what is going on. Okay. What is going on here? Present moment. What is going on for my collective? What is going on for my collective? We have the high priestess. Okay, guys, I love that. The high priestess, you're very, very in tune. You can trust yourself. You don't need proof. If you feel something, that's what it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> guys, you know what's funny? Um I was talking to a friend of mine and I told him, I'm like, oh, there's something I have to get done by the 18th of this month. It's the ninth today. And they're like, what's up? But you're just chilling. You're not worried. I'm like, no, I'm not worried. And they're like, you sure? You good? I'm like, yeah. And shit lines up. You know, like, guys, this is a time where you really need to walk with a blind faith. OK, and I know I bring up my mom a lot, but there's one time that. I was really like stressed and crying over something. And she just looks at me so calmly and she goes, see, that's how I know that you don't have faith in God. She's like the fact that there's tears running down your eyes, like the fact that you don't know that he already has this shit figured out and you just need to have faith and just know that he's not going to let you rock. He's not going to leave you for dead. Like some people have like, this is different levels here, guys. Okay. We have the King of Pentacles reversed, okay? And we have the Moon card reversed. And you guys know exactly what was holding you back. 
for those of you that weren't where you wanted to be or still aren't where you want to be, you know exactly why you're not there. All right. You know exactly what stopped you. You know exactly uh, why you missed a certain opportunity. You know exactly why there was some sort of delay. Like, you know what's up. Okay. And the thing is, you guys in the past, you know, me included, this is a collective reading. You let too much bullshit around you, like too many bullshitters, too much people, places and things that was just wasting so much time. All right. You guys in the past found comfort in things that were low key your demise or that wanted to be your demise. Some people were finding comfort in something that would later bring burden. All right. So high priestess, why is this here? The Empress card reverse. So you know that something or someone has to go. All right. You know something has to go for you to avoid future conflict. Like, you know something has to go. We have the seven of wands. And you guys, you're standing your ground on this. You're standing your ground on this. <laughs> yeah, I just envisioned like some of you like trying to leave someone and they're like, hey, collective, like, yo, like, all right, hear me out. Like, if I do this one last thing, can like we stay together? And like you guys, you're you're just already out the door. Like you guys are done. Whatever this is, you're done with it and you're standing your ground on that. You don't even see something the same anymore. All right. Yeah, something was fun for a moment. All right. Yeah, something was appealing or looked good for a moment. But you know what was behind that. This was straight devil toxic ass energy. All right. Like for some of you, you could have been fucking around with someone who you found sexy as fuck. But that's all they were sexy as fuck. Like, that's all it was, okay? Um, you're just, there's something you're not genuinely invested in anymore, Collective, okay? Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? But you just, you ain't about it. Like, you woke up. You saw something for what it is, Okay? We have the hanged man, so you're not going to force anything. The hanged man is a go with the flow energy. The hanged man is not bending over backwards for something that feels forced. All right? The hanged man is not going to do that. You lost faith in something. All right? You see something as bullshit. Ten of pentacles reversed. Mm. For a lot of you, you not that you blame this thing, but you at least link this thing to misfortunes that you've had in the past. A lot of you are saying, I would not be needing to put so much work in this area in my life had I not been around this. So a lot of you link a certain misfortune that you had on this person, place, or thing. Okay. And guys, I don't listen. I just feel the need to tell y'all like <sighs> there can be people that they literally don't do anything to you, but just being around their energy, you're just not as productive. You just don't show up as much. And that could be such a hard situation to be in, especially if you're honest and you, and you tell somebody how you feel. It's like, yo, like, I'm just not as productive around you. You're going to get hit with the, oh, I didn't fucking do anything. I didn't put a gun to your head and tell you not to do this, this, and that. But the truth is, guys, there's just some people that they just, without even doing anything, they just, like, take the will of, pro like, productivity out of us. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's certain energies that can affect you. All right? I've dated people that I was in the gym three times a day. I've dated people that I gained 40, 50 pounds. Different people have different effects. All right. And before anyone says, oh, that was your choice. I know that. All right. But the energy that you're around on a daily basis, it does fuck with you after a while. 
All right. If your best friend is a fucking piece of shit, a liar, a thief on some fuck shit, and you're an angel, I don't give a fuck. Hang out with them every single day. Something is going to hit you. Something is going to hit you. I don't care how good of a person you are. Something is going to catch up to you. Okay. So I don't know who needs to hear that, but there's something or someone that's been fucking with your productivity, your, your glow, the opportunities that you get. I just feel like so much more happens for you without that energy around. And you know that, you know that, okay. You know that. We have the five of swords reversed. And now that you know that, you're never going to struggle in that way again, guys. There's a problem that is done for good. All right? We have the Knight of Wands reversed. So some of you could have been dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands reversed. The Eight of Wands. Let me get one more card. We have the sun card reversed. Some of you, you could have seen how fucked up a person, place, or thing was. And I feel like you relayed that to them or you're about to. Okay? Because there's something that you feel like you're... This is something where like you're, you're not bringing something up to have like issues or problems with somebody. You're just bringing it up just to be honest. Okay? Um... And I feel like what you say, it's going to be very unexpected, but it's like you saw a side of something that you just like, you, you, you can't go back on it. Like you, you, you just can't, you can't. Okay. Some of you, like, I feel like for some of you, this could be something like, let's say you, you've been trying to like separate from someone, like you really need them to be your ex and stay your ex. Like. This could be someone that, like, you're very clear, like, hey, I don't want to be with you. Like, it is what it is. But, like, let's say you guys chill one day and they're like, oh, okay, so, yo, if we get back together and you're like, no, like, no, 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 it's not happening. So this could be something where you've already explained that you're not going to go back to something. But it's like there could be hope that still lives on in other people, okay? And you're just like, please, like, let that hope die. <laughs> like, please. All right. Because you know that you just want better for yourself. You guys felt miserable. Okay. Guys, I know this is going to be so fucked up. But I recently told somebody, I was like, yo, when I look at you and when I'm near you, it's a reminder of everything I have yet to do in life. It's a reminder of every failure I've ever had. You remind me of all bad things in life. I know that's fucked up, and they're like, <gasps> and I'm like, yo, it's just the truth. That's just how I feel. Like, I look at your face, and I lose hope. Anyways, so let's keep going. I digress. Let's look into the future, guys, and what's happening, okay? And yes, Elizabeth, no more imposter syndrome. Like, guys, what's coming your way, it's for you. It's meant for you. You're the only person that can do this, all right? Even if there's other people doing it, there's not going to be anyone that does it like you. All right, we have the Ten of Cups reversed, the Queen of Wands reversed. Let's get one more card here. Lisa, thank you. And we have the Magician. Ooh, Four of Cups, Nine of Wands, Page of Wands. Yeah, guys, there's something that you're done with and you're not accepting it at all anymore, and you're standing your ground on that, and not only are you standing your ground on that, but you're starting something new that's bringing a whole new chapter into your life, and it's going to piss some people off, all right? Some people are going to be pissed that you're so, like, blah towards them, like, you don't show any sort of excitement or acceptance towards, like, a person, place, or thing, um, and then you're doing something else, you're creating something else, and you're happy on top of that, yeah, someone's not going to be happy about that. All right, so let's see more about this Ten of Cups reversed, okay? And Journey, I'm Dominican, not Puerto Rican. Similar food, though. Half of my family is Puerto Rican. We be getting on each other all the time. 
Guys, if you ever meet my family, if they're nice to you, they don't like you. All right. When they start talking shit to you, you're in. You're one of us now. All right. You you want my family to talk shit to you. Dominicans, we talk shit. We talk a lot of shit. <laughs> In high school, I did uh, a remake of Romeo and Juliet because I was in the drama uh, troupe that they had there. And I was Juliet, I was Dominican, and um, whatchamacallit, Romeo was Puerto Rican. So we did a twist on it that our families didn't want us to be together because <laughs> they're like, no, pick a Dominican, no, pick a Puerto Rican. So it was like the Boricua version of Romeo and Juliet. It was fun. <laughs> Ten of Cups reversed. Why is this here? We have the Ace of Wands reversed. Yeah, like your passion is not with someone or something anymore. And someone's feeling that. Like someone's feeling that. All right. We have the Two of Wands reversed and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're just like, yo, I'm sorry. This isn't for me. And guys, not only are you doing something new, but this is something that is long-lasting all right. And it stabilizes you for a long time. All right. So someone's pissed. All right. It could be a Leo Aries or Sagittarius that's pissed off. All right. But not only is someone feeling rejected, but it's even harder to feel rejected when you see the other person doing exceptionally well. Okay. We have the death card here. Yeah. Someone's really pissed off at the change that you've made. And you know what, guys? Congratulations for the change because it was one that was so hard, so difficult to make, and you finally made it. So you know what? I don't give a fuck who's mad. Let them fucking be bad. All right, guys, if someone's upset that you're choosing yourself and you're choosing to do something that's best for yourself, that's an op. That's not a person that's on your side, on your corner. Because the way I look at life, if a bitch feels like she needs to stop talking to me or if a guy feels like he needs to stop talking to me for them to be happier, then, oh, my God, I will block you first. Holy shit. Like, why are we even still talking? Get the fuck out of my face. I'm ruining shit. I'm making shit worse. Why are you talking to me? My God, I'm going to respect this. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm going to leave you the fuck alone. Move on. All right? I'm going to love you from here. I'll root from here. But good luck. You know? Like, good luck. And there's someone that they're like, oh, uh, collective, you're, you're doing the better thing for yourself. You're healing and you're growing and you're succeeding. Fuck you. Like, wait, what? Fuck me? No. And you're working. And that's what's bringing you stability. I don't know who needs to hear this, but guys, it's time to roll your sleeves the fuck up and show the world who you are. With this page of wands and king of wands energy, guys, this is not a quiet entrance into the room. This is you waltzing, dancing, you know, a, a fucking soundtrack coming on when you walk in the room. This is your arrival being announced and everyone like, and turning and waiting for you to walk in. This is not a quiet come up. This is, yo, I'm in your face. Hello. You guys can't forget about me. I'm right here. What's good? Oh, you thought you were going to forget about Lissette? What's the first thing on your YouTube when you woke up? Oh, what's up? Like, guys, this is energy of, like, get up, get out there, be in people's faces, show them what you're doing, show them who you are, show them what your talents are, what are your strengths. All right? This is the era of a closed mouth does not get fed. All right? You mad that you didn't get food? Well, you didn't tell nobody you was hungry. We have mad food here. You just didn't speak up. This is a reading telling you to take the place at your table. And don't you dare sit in one of them side chair ass fucking positions. No, sit at the fucking head of the table. Make sure that everybody looks up and they see you sit at the fucking head of the table, the table that you built, the table that someone told you you couldn't build, the table that someone told you you didn't know how to build. Sit at the head of the table, guys. All right. If people like if you start hearing, oh, you're annoying, you do that, fuck them. You're triggering something inside of them, all right? Who in their right mind is going to look down on someone that's just trying to make their life better, all right? If you're an artist, let me see that art. You're a musician, drop some tracks. You're a writer, show us what you've written. 
You're a singer, show us that beautiful song. All right, you're a skater, let's go see that shit. All right, you're a dancer, when's the next performance? All right, you're an actor, let's see some content on your social media. Who are you? And how can you expect to grow if the world doesn't know who you are? Demand to be seen. Show the fuck up. That's literally all it takes, guys. There are people in this world far less talented than you with so much more than you because they show the fuck up every day. That's the only difference. So if they have what they have and they're doing it at like a quarter of how you're able to do it, imagine how you're going to live when you fully tap in and you're disciplined. A lot of you in here don't have what you want because you haven't stuck to the fucking plan. Stop making excuses and get out of your own way. You have to show up. You have to remind people that you're there. There's so much happening in this world, guys. If you're quiet for too long, people forget. That's just how it is. Nobody means to forget. But with all this going on, like you got to show up. You got to remind people that you're that you exist and that you're there. All right, you feel lonely, show up. All right, stop waiting for friends to hit you up and it's just like they didn't hit you up, so I'm not gonna go out, hit them up. We're all fucking grown adults, so you know we all got our own lives. All right, the people I chill with guys is people, they, they be looking for me. So now I'm like, yo, let's say you're not lonely. You just, when's the last time you look for somebody? You know, like look for it, find it, get outside. Make it happen. The magician, the magician holds all the elements here. All right. Water, fire. All right. Pentacle, all that. They can do whatever it is that they put their minds to. We have the two of cups and we have the ace of swords reversed. Okay. Guys, you're going to tap into such a beautiful part of yourself. And I, I'm not going to cry, I promise. I just feel emotional reading this because the people who are tapping into this, it's people that you guys have been like, you've been fighting. Oh, my God, you've been fighting. All right. I feel like so many of you, like if I heard your story, I would really be on some crying shit. Like I really, really would. Because the person that this is happening for, it's a person that it's like the world just kept smacking them the fuck down. And it's like every time you tried to get up, the world would throw you another reminder as why you should sit the fuck down. All right. And you're like, fuck that. All right. Nothing could keep you on the ground. The world tried. Your enemies tried. People tried. All right, the person that this is going to happen for has been fighting for their fucking life. All right, and I spoke about this in the last Taurus reading. Check that out if you want to. But guys, like, the breakthrough is coming for someone that's been fighting for their fucking life. When it's just like, I don't know, guys, there's just going to be something that. And this is not going to be temporary either. There's an area of your life that you've been struggling in. That spirit is saying that struggle is over and that struggle will never find you again. It's done. It's done. Okay. It's done. Some of you have been having bad luck and love. Spirit's like, I got you. Just hold on. All right. Some of you, maybe you've been having trouble with money. All right. Things like that. That spirit's saying, no, this is changing. And you're making the changes that you need. All right. There's some of you who are paycheck to paycheck that now you're just going to be chilling. All right. You, you, this is like a lot of you. There's going to be something in your life that was so like anxiety inducing in the past. And now it's just going to be like a whatever thing. OK, it's so funny. I used to work for this family that was extremely wealthy. Like The dad worked on Wall Street. Um, 
the mother was one of those like rich ladies that pretends there's so many problems in life, but I'm like, you're rich. Like you don't have problems. <laughs> I know, I know rich people have problems too, but it's just like, yo, like your bank account would solve 97% of my shit. So you know what I'm saying? And so, um, anytime it would come to this lady having to like pay her bills and shit, she'd, she'd always be like, <sighs> and that day, like we would just know like, all right, this is her bills day. Like stay away from her. And she gets so stressed. And I'm like, what are you stressed about? You have millions of dollars in the bank and you just paid a $200 bill. What the fuck are you stressed about? I couldn't understand it. You know how happy I'm going to be paying bills when shit is like good, good like that? You think I'm going to complain over a $200 electricity bill when I got millions of dollars in the bank? Make it make sense. But that's going to be the attitude you guys have. Like, I'm not sweating it because I got it. Like, I got it. I'm not sweating it. All right? So, guys... Guess what I brought out? Let's talk our shit. I haven't used this in like two, three months. Let's do it. All right, let's talk our shit. And guys, if this is resonating with you so far, there's links in the description below to donate as well as my Amazon wish list if you guys want to surprise me and bless the home. But yes, my loves, if you need anything from me, you guys can always purchase a reading on my website. There's a few readings that are discounted right now. Uh, like I said, guys, once a month, I'm going to try to do like a little special. All right. So that everyone can always afford to get a reading. All right. So now is that time. Check it out. I'm going to pull three of these first. Okay. One eleven in the room. Shout out to that. New beginnings for everyone in here. We have indecision. Trust. A lot of you really thought like you lost your groove when it came to something. A lot of you really had the mindset of my time has passed. My opening has passed. I lost my only shot. The fuck? No, you didn't. You didn't lose anything. What you lost was the dead weight that was in your life that was making you feel like you were losing a lot. Ooh, we have indecision, right? Trust, denial, and friendship. What's at the bottom here? Worry. Ooh. All right. This is a very specific message. It's either going to resonate with you or it's not. And if it doesn't, I don't want to hear about it. But guys, what I'm seeing here is that someone had a choice with you. And for a moment, somebody questioned you. Someone's like, you know, is the collective for me? Are they on my side? Are they an op? Are they out to get me? And they were on the fence. But they let negativity or maybe outside influences get in the way. So for a lot of you, you were left for dead. You were just. Someone made you feel like you weren't shit. And now they're worried. Because now you're not the same person because you surrendered. Okay. You accepted it for what it was. And you found happiness. And even if you haven't told somebody, you're just choosing to forgive them in your own heart. And you went through adversity alone. And you know what happens when people go through adversity by themselves? When you go through hell and back, when you go through a war by yourself and you come out and you're still walking and you're still alive and you're still breathing, <sighs> bitch, you just made the mistake of showing me and teaching me that I don't need you. 
big mistake. You never do that. Never let a person that you love go through war by themselves if you can help it. Especially if you're the one that started the war for this person. You are ostracized. Someone made a war against you and you're just, you're taking hits, you're taking punches. No one's rooting for you. And a lot of you, you did this by yourself. A lot of you were attacked. There's groups attacking you, a single person. And no one was on your side. Well, they're going to die anyways. They're on their own. And you didn't. And you're happy and you overcame something and you found yourself in a huge way. And now when it comes to their friendship, their energy, they're denied. You're going to tell this energy, re remember how you treated me when you thought I was going to fail? Remember how you treated me when you let those people around you? you know, really tell you a narrative that wasn't the right one? Do you remember how hard you kicked me when I was already on the ground? Oh, and now everyone's talking. Oh, now you've seen the come up. Oh, you've seen the healing. Oh, the, the circus ain't running no more. The circus shut down. You don't have your crew with you no more. Oh, you're alone. Oh, you're getting a dose of your medicine. Oh, you're seeing you fucked up. Oh, that sucks. Damn, that's crazy. All right, my OGs will know what I'm referring to. Damn, that's crazy. Oh, that sucks. Finding out you're wrong. Oh, yeah, I feel like shit too. Choosing the wrong side, rooting for the wrong side. Watching that side get defeated. Watching the side that you were working against win. Oh, that must feel like shit. Oh, I know you feel stupid. Oh, you feel stupid as fuck. Hmm. So what's the T? What is the T, Collective? What is the T? We have cock blocking. divination abuser trauma starter guys this was someone that like they were abusing the access that they had to you or they didn't realize how important it actually was that they had access all right this was someone that started drama in your life this is someone that was blocking a lot for you for some of y'all it was your own people's family all right or someone that you may have had a family with all right, but this is someone that was blocking you. All right, this is someone that was blocking you. Someone that played, they fucked around and they found out. All right, and you got to the point where you're just so unbothered, like it doesn't do anything for you before. Okay, and for a lot of you in the past, like I feel like initially when everything happened, it probably had a huge effect on you, but now it like it just... It doesn't do anything for you, you know? Like, it just, it doesn't do anything for you. Like, you're not bothered by this anymore. <laughs> we have love on the brain and unfazed. So now the tables has turned because there's someone thinking about you, Collective, and they're like, oh, my God, I wonder what the Collective is doing. I wonder what the Collective thinks about me. All right? Um, and you're just, you're unfazed. <laughs> You no longer caring about something, like, I don't think someone realizes how much access they lost to how much shit, all right? And now someone's feeling lonely, but you guys were the ones that were lonely in the past. You had to deal with it, all right? So let them deal with it. Fuck that, all right? This is someone that neglected you, and it's like the people and things that they were around, it was out of vanity. It was like, guys, whether this was a ex-friend, ex-lover, ex-whatever, all right. This is someone that, first of all, like they have so much inner healing to do. It's not even funny. OK. But I don't give a fuck. We're adults. Like, keep your fucking trauma to yourself. You don't have to traumatize other people because of what the fuck your mom said to you when you were eight. Grow the fuck up, you piece of shit. 
All right? None of us are your mother. We ain't say that shit to you. Like, get the fuck over it. Stop using people and things as your fucking punching bag. Grow the fuck up. All right? But someone hasn't grown the fuck up. So now they show out and it's fucking embarrassing. It's the equivalent of a kid fucking breaking down in a candy store. It's the equivalent of that, but it's a fucking grown ass adult doing it. And it's fucking sad and it's pathetic. All right. And anybody that they were around that wasn't you, it was all because of how they thought they could use these people. There was something appealing about every person. There was agenda, there was an agenda behind every connection they had. It wasn't just like, oh, I'm chilling with this bitch because this bitch is cool. It's like, no, this bitch's daddy owns a bank. So maybe if I fuck her dad. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not that intense, but you know, there was something behind it. All right. This is someone that they, that the people that they look for around them, it's like, okay, what can you do for me? All right. And that says a lot about a person. And now they're going to have nightmares about that jackpot that your boss says is about to hit. Okay, someone's reflecting on how they went a different way and did you wrong and how nothing in their life has changed. They're in the same fucking spot, the same spot on the couch, all right, at the parents' house. And what are you doing? You're fucking winning, all right? And they made the wrong choice because they were listening to bullshit. Someone didn't do their due diligence. All right. So now someone's tripping. All right. Because they want the attention that comes with being linked to you. All right. They're trying to force it after doing something fucked up. Someone's head is in the clouds. All right. But thank you. Next. You're moving on. This is karma. All right. This is karma. And what's crazy is somebody might get petty and try to, like, put your name in the dirt somehow. But you're just like, sweetie, please don't do that. Like, please don't make me show the world what I have in my phone. Like, think twice. You could say that on the Internet about me, but then your mama's going to see this picture. But but the priest, you know, the pastor is going to see this picture. Do you really want that? Not worth it, right? Because you're going to fall much harder than I would, you know? So, yeah, you moved on because someone just had bad habits, addictions, friends, okay, vices, all right? And that's going to be the energy that wants an inside scoop on you. And they're looking at you guys because they want you back, all right? Like, now we're not doing that. And this is someone, guys, you know it's fucked up. If they do try to get you back, they're going to try to get you back by trying to show you what you're missing in life. Scarcity tactics, okay? I bet you don't have a friend that would do this for you. I bet no other lover has done this for you. I bet, I bet, I bet. And it's like, well, since you've been gone, all right, DJ hit me. But literally, since you've been gone, this has happened, that has happened, this has happened, this has happened, that has happened. And guess what? I bet none of that happened when you were around or when you were around, which is the truth. You guys came up in a lot of ways since this energy has been gone and they're going to come acting like they got something to offer. Like, bitch, this is not the same table. This is not the same home. This is not the same year. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they might've gotten their lives like maybe a little better, but it's like, you know, like, let's say you were both here, even though they grew, you're still up here and they're here. And they're like, well, since I grew from here, I have so much to show for it. It's like, yeah, but you, you didn't check on what the collective was doing. Cause the collective is above that. So like, all right. It, it, it's like, you're bringing bread to a bakery. Like, bitch, we good. We got it here. We, we got it. We got enough bread to go around. You don't need to bring bread to a bakery. All right. <sighs> Guys, I love you so much, all right? If you guys need absolutely anything, I would be honored to read for you guys. Again, the link is in the description below this video. But yes, guys, until next time, I love you.